I called the show because um, I sent my daughter with her dad, wh whom never been a good dad. He's always been part time. He barely do stuff for her birthday, and she came home with no underwear. When I dropped my daughter off, I know for a fact she had underwear because I bought some when we were in Memphis, okay? She had socks, panties, new shoes, everything. I always make sure my daughter has everything she needs. I get to asking her, you know, what happened to your underwear and stuff like that. She goes on to say that she, they was too small or that they didn't have her size. And it led me to believe something happened. But she said he was mean. She said that he whooped her. Stuff that I just don't do. And then when I asked him about the underwear, he just blew it all out of proportion like I was accusing him. And that led me to believe that obviously something did happen because it's a simple question. Where are her underwear? When she was with him, he called and said she was wet in the bed. The fact I was um, molested when I was younger, um, my, I used to wet the bed, and I felt like that was one of the signs. Also, she was like kind of angrier, and she was not herself. So I told him when he asked me if he could get her for Christmas, I said he had to take a pass a lie detector test. I called the Steve Wilco show myself because I didn't feel comfortable with sending her back with him unless I knew the truth. He keep claiming that I'm making this up because I want him. Don't nobody want you, Lee. I'm not making this up because I want him, nor do I want to be with him. This is all about my daughter and protecting her and making sure that he never hurts her again, if that is the case. If Lee physically or sexually abused my daughter, he's never seen her again, and I also would like to pursue charges. So if you want to spend Christmas with your daughter this year, you have to pass the lie detector test today. Yeah, I guess that was the... Uh, that's what she said, right? Yeah, that's what she said. I mean, you want to spend Christmas yeah, with I your daughter, Yeah, I want to spend right? not just Christmas, my, everything right. with my daughter. Right. What do you want to say about what she's saying that you did? Well, I'm going to say this. I never molest my daughter or any, any child, period. You, I know you got kids too, Steve. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank you for being here because I always watch you, but... See, I ain't finna touch my daughter. First of all, she used my daughter. Physically or sexually? Physical or sexual. Yeah. Like, like, now, is, is me being a mean, or she wanna say I'm a mean, my daughter called me a mean dad because I gotta teach her respect because I'm from the South. We say yes sir, yes ma'am. My daughter didn't do none of that. So I'm like, well, I'm a teacher there. So I'm the mean, I'm gonna have to be the, the, play the mean role of a dad because I gotta teach her certain things that she not teaching her. But well, when it comes to like touching my daughter or something like that, my only, only thing I know is she was around a crew of people they used to do things like that, and, and she been molested. She wanted my daughter to play you mean this. A, a Aaliyah. Yeah. She she wanted my daughter to play the the role of her life, though, know, cause cause she been through some things. And like I say, when I first started with her, when I made a baby with her, I, when I found out she was pregnant, I feel like we were gonna break a cycle, cause I ain't have my mom and dad. She ain't have our mom and dad. So that make me want to like, well, okay, we should do this and break this cycle and show people that it, it could be done, you know. But now it's to the point, now you accusing me of something that now because I didn't give you no money, you telling me, well, anytime I don't give you no money. You think that this is what it's about? Yeah, it's about the about? money. Yes, sir. How long were you with Aaliyah for? My about, my about three months. I ain't even get to know her. Oh, you got her pregnant that fast? My fast. So now you're in two different states. Yeah. So you get her how often, your daughter? Man, when, she, when, when, when Aaliyah feel like I should get her. When, 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 how when, often is that? That's like when she, man, her mood, when, when she break up with a dude and she's single and she broke, then when I get her. So when she ain't have, when she don't got, when she, when she got money, I ain't gonna never see her. So have you had a chance to talk to your daughter since Aaliyah says that you did this? I've been talking to her, I just talked to her for her birthday, October the 23rd. I just talked to her. Oh, so like a couple weeks ago? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Did you say, hey, what, did you say anything to your mom about this? Are, do you, are you scared of me? My, me and my daughter never had a talk about her being touched or nothing like that. Because everything's normal. Everything's normal. It, it's, it's only she using it as a pawn, like she's been doing it. Right. Like she told me if I don't, she just told me like right after her birthday came, I would talk to my daughter. I said, you know what? I just moved to Philly. I got a new apartment. I got a new job. She said, well, dad, make sure you get a bag for me because I'm going to come and stay with you. When her mom heard her say that, she snatched the phone and said, well, you ain't gonna get her then. Uh, I'm finna say you molested her. The other three times I had to go, she called her, Amber Alert about me having a, a, a previous record. They came, well, police came to my house every time. Thinking, then the police come down and say, you know what, man, we got it on paperwork now. She doing that because she still wants you. The stars told me that. Did Aaliyah ever say to you, 
our daughter said that you molested her. No, sir. Okay. Uh, and we, the reason why she was missing her underwear, because they was in the washer. And when she called, she said, my plane is here. I just got her. We leaving right back out. Don't you know she, she was in Memphis for two more days in a known hotel where there's a lot of activity going on? That's the reason what why I was with her. What kind of activity? Uh, you know what's going on? No, I don't. <laughs> well, activity where they selling themselves. I want you to tell me. Where they selling themselves. Where they doing, where oh. women selling themselves. So you she, said she's prostituting my, herself? In front of my daughter. I, I wanted to get a test on her, but they said I couldn't do all that. But in, I ain't her, Steve, you ain't for the her. All right, let's uh, let's meet your ex, the mother of your child. Lee. You call her my cousin. What? You can call her my cousin. Don't call her my ex. She's your cousin. You can call her my cousin. I don't call her my baby mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's your cousin. So why are you up here yeah. lying? Lying. Why are you up here lying? No, I'm not lying. You know you're lying. You sent you sent her back with nothing. First of all, Steve, he asked to, me Steve. for money every day. My daughter was with him, but he talked about I'm broke. And yes, I. Steve, then, she sent me the money to get my car fixed to come now. But I'm not finna you come up with her. You never brought her though. But I'm not finna come. So why didn't she listen, have Steve, underwear? Listen, Steve, when I. Why didn't she have underwear? Because my underwear was in the washing machine. Have you called Amber Alert on him? Yes, I did. How many why? times? Because he always trying to kidnap my baby. How I'm kidnapping? See you. <laughs> can't even say it with she a straight face. She's she playing. Because she said I'm gonna look like a dead woman with this makeup on, man. Come on, man, stop playing with me, man. You know you're doing something really bad when you're calling Amber Alert on him, right? Because yeah, you waste because a lot of people's answer. time. No, 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 well, no. Yeah, but no, he know. wouldn't answer, and I don't live in Memphis. I have never been to Memphis, so I didn't know where my child was. He went weeks without answering the phone. But you know she, she's with him. Okay, but I, I'm, her, them, I'm, I'm her guardian. Then she tell the police, this really ain't her dad. So how you send a baby that ain't legitimated with somebody you don't know? Because I technically gave her to right. him, so it What about this be... uh, story about you prostituting in a hotel? He made that up. Is he? Right, get he what? made that we up. We can pull it up right now. We can pull it up. It's guaranteed. In front of baby. Yeah. No, I'm you said in front of my daughter. About, oh, you did it. You did no, it. Right you, no, you Why said. Why she sleeping at everything? Come on, oh man, you know you did. Man, come on, you still don't got no remorse about nothing. I promise you, you come on, I man. promise you, I never prostituted in front of my, my daughter. My you sound crazy. We well, took a test, I gave it to you. No, I did I prostitute for sure. Hey. Oh, like, yes, I did. Oh, come well, on, oh, well. No, you can oh, open a man or something like this. I own my truth. I own my truth. But you did it responsibly and not in front of your daughter. My daughter was never around that. Man, stop it. My daughter was never around that. Come on, man. Stop the cat. Come on, man. Did your daughter say to you that? Her dad molested no, her. No, I, when I asked her, she flat out said no, nothing. Does happened. it seem like she has a really good relationship with her father? Eh, she, she was with him for a couple months. They really, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. But I, does she I didn't like give being him. with her dad? Uh, she said he was mean. Did you ever strike, hit, or punch your daughter at any time to cause pain or injury? You answered no. Did you at any time engage in physical, sexual contact with your daughter? He answered no. Those results came back the same, and it came back that Lee told the truth. Aw. Man, aw. That's crazy, man. Aw. What's that? I said, that's crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. Way. I'm saying, like, that, I'm that, sad I apologize. That ain't gonna help, though. That ain't gonna help our daughter. All right. When she go up and look at this stuff like this, 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 this hurting her, though. It ain't hurting me. Cause a fool will only come up here and know they did something like this, though. And actually, my mom not finna touch my door. I got nieces and nephews, my whole family, get, get their kids to me. Uh, Aaliyah, you, you came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked you, first you, you, the examiner's notes. Daughter never said anything about being molested. Right. Made false allegations to Lee because she was angry at him for how he sent daughter home and knew it would get him upset. Told others Lee possibly molested, but she really didn't believe Lee molested. Did you say that? Yes. So you made it up. I didn't make it up, but he don't no, no 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 let me clear something because the examiner said that it I have to speak facts. So he said that I would have to answer yes to me making it up, or I would fail the whole lie detector test. That's exactly what that man told me. No. But your daughter never said to yeah, you. Yeah, and I admitted that. I've been okay. said yeah, that. Right. Yeah, she never said that. And we asked you, are you lying? when you said your daughter came home without any underwear from Lee's home. You answered no, you told the truth. Exactly. Are you lying and making up a story that Lee sexually molested and abused your daughter? You answered yes. Yes, because that's what the examiner told me to say or I would have failed the lie detector test and I even told some of your staff that Because you well. did make it up. 
it's made up because I don't know. What do you mean? I made it up. Well, like, because, I don't know. Because, because I don't know. If like, your only piece of evidence is that your daughter didn't have underwear on, mm -hmm. that's really not a case for sexual molestation. Right. All right. Well, good luck to you, and we hope it all works out for you. Thank you. Yeah. I was right. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.